What is going on guys, Victor here, and I got a beautiful Florida Keys permit in my hands. Now, I already filmed this entire introduction in the Keys, but unfortunately, I accidentally deleted my entire memory card. I didn't get that juicy B-roll intro with all the music like I normally get for you guys, and I also had a really, really important announcement to make. I have all my friends wearing the brand new Landstar shirts in long sleeve, short sleeve, seafoam green, ice blue white, available online August 15th. The website goes live. Very high quality, super soft performance tees. What you guys are about to see next is some footage of a couple of buddies and I. I only have a GoPro footage that I was able to recover of the Florida Keys permit. And then I'll meet you guys back at the point table and we're gonna play this guy up. Now that the tide switch and it is outgoing, which at this bridge we like to fish the outgoing tide because the permit kind of hang around those pilings. And what I'm gonna do is pitch my crab out there, which I'm about to grab for you guys in just a second. There we go. A little bit smaller the crab. Let's find bottom rod. The bottom rod is over here. And actually, when I fish crabs on bottom, I prefer to fish them dead because I don't like my crab crawling into whatever he's trying to crawl into because they're going to try to get away from things. They're not just going to sit there and say, eat me to the permit or park or whatever's trying to eat it. But I will put him out alive. Right here in the corner of the shell and really slowly work it in there. Got my, uh, it's a Muscat Demon Circle. This is 40 pound bull buster, four carbon liter. And I've realized I've been very bad at talking about what my terminal tackle is with you guys. Cause I know a lot of people will ask and I get a ton of questions in the comment sections below. So I'm trying to get better at that for you guys. Cause a lot of people are interested. So just like that, right in the corner of the shell, four circle hook. We got a sliding bottom rig, five ounce bank sinker, time to send it. Pitch it right next to that piling over there. Just like that. Pitch is hooked up. Let's go, walk back. There you go. Here's a permit. There you go. Start getting that short pump. Now you good. get rid of some of that bloodline meat and uh because the last time i had permit it was a bit on the chewy side and i think it's because me and chris did not bleed them you gotta you gotta bleed it and you gotta take care of the meat so we're gonna get this guy right on ice after we bleed him and let a lot of the blood out get a lot of that membrane and just kind of... i know we're not torturing this fish guys this is common practice okay. Okay. amongst fishermen and it's putting it out of its misery because yeah. unfortunately, you know, it's we're harvesting the fish legally and everything like that, but it's sitting with gasping for air. So yeah. it's, you know, it's just not any different than a hunter, you know, ending his deer's life and you know didn't get a perfect shot. It's the exact same concept. So much. Yeah. Right. 
definitely iced your fish ASAP. Especially bigger fish, because you really got to get to the core of that meat. Yeah, you want it chilled. It makes it easier for you to fillet. It makes it firm for me. Good for it. Good for the kitchen later. I hope you guys enjoyed the fishing portion of that video. And as always, one of my favorite parts of these videos is teaching you guys about the anatomy of the fish and everything and just kind of showing you guys the different um, anatomical features. And I think that permit are such badass fish. A lot of people think that they're really mysterious in a way just because of the fact that they're not necessarily hard to target, but it's just the bait and the ways to target them aren't necessarily accessible to all anglers. Anglers, first of all, you got to use crabs or some type of crab in the state, which is usually expensive. If you guys look here, permit have really, really soft, rubbery mouths, and it kind of protrudes out there. And what they do is these guys roam the flats, they roam wrecks and stuff, and they eat crustaceans primarily. They are known to feed on fish, but it's just funny that they have some of the softest mouths of fish, and yet eat some of the hardest prey in fish, especially fish that eat a lot of crustaceans, have these really big rib cages. Sheep's head have them. Um, a lot of snapper will have bigger rib cages. And when all this meat that's sitting on top of here, it's a very, very thin layer, and it's pretty much all rib meat. So if you want to get tedious, you know, you can really cut all around it, but it's pretty much all rib meat. And then all this is going to be his guts. That's a lot of stuff. All right, here is the permit's guts. And like I said, oh, look at that. I don't know if that's a crab. That looks like maybe the bottom of a crab. What do you think? The bottom shell of a crab? Bro? Oh yeah. Those are baby lobster legs. Oh yeah, this guy's been munching on some lobster. So these look like juvenile lobster legs. Definitely not keeper. And we can tell because we literally just got back. Today's actually opening day of lobster season, so look behind the camera. We just spent all day lobstering, so those are spiny lobster, probably little ones, and what they'll do is lobster normally hidden rocks and stuff but at night they'll throw the uh, grass flats and uh, Mr. Permit comes by and swoops, swoops on in and uh, he's going for his last swim. I gotta tell you guys the skin is kind of thick and chewy. I don't recommend eating it. I've never done it myself but it does not look appetizing. And another thing is Permit have a ton of one more. I don't know if it's because they're really muscular fish but there's quite a bit of waste when it comes to permit fillets in comparison to other fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spin one of these up real quick and I'll show you guys what I mean by that really long, thick one line. It's almost like leather. So look at that. This stuff is not very appetizing. I mean, it's it's not like snapper skin that falls apart when you cook it. It's really, really thick stuff. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Voice over video coming at you. You guys, I was so bummed out about the whole meat footage thing. I mean, I had all my good buddies wearing the new shirts. I got all these good clips and pics and all sorts of stuff wearing the new merch. And it all just went to waste because I just was careless and I accidentally deleted my memory card. So now what we're going to be doing today is making some poached permit. And for this recipe, it is going to be very simple. You guys see flattened parsley being chopped up. I also smushed up probably three quarters of a whole head of oil. And then now for the broth for our sauce to poach our fish. I'm going to use some tomato. I'm going to cook it down. Because tomato will release a lot of nice juice. And I'm going to cook it down. So now, if anyone who's watched from front of the kitchen in the past, you know that I tell you guys that these are very, very it's not worth the coffee, so turn it. I highly recommend the cut after the fries and remove any kind of disability stuff that you guys see. 
up to a boil season it with some black pepper some salt and kind of cook these tomatoes down it's like 10 to 15 minutes there is Brooks Still my <laughs> 